Um, no, I didn't stop, but I think maybe we should pause for a second until the music gets going, because... It could be your background music. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have built-in bed music uh -huh. live on location. That's okay. Yeah, from the other side, from a distance, I think uh, the art looks looks more clear. Mm -hmm. Up close, it uh, you get lost in the details. I love murals, and, and Burlington has uh, many murals, and ma that makes it uh, uh, th uh, quite interesting for people who enjoy art. And, and this is good, this is new because it's downtown and it's delivering a, a good message. And the message is subtle, but it's important too. Um, the love, the word loved actually caught my eye before the colors, but then the colors actually caught my eye. Um, I have a picture of it, I don't know. I don't know, I actually really like it. And like the message that it has on it, I think is really, really like powerful and very relevant to like what's been happening in Vermont right now. And like the like color and everything with the mural is really pretty and like just brings like very positive and like happy vibes to it. Uh, I really like the colors of it, caught my eye. Uh, I like the statements really nice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, we were definitely drawn over by how it looks, but also the message. I, mean, I saw them painting this, but I hadn't seen it finished yet. And it's just like very colorful. And it's also cool to see like new things come up in Burlington. Cause like you don't always see something new every day. Well, I saw the guy put it up uh, just in outlines for a day, and then he spent, I think, the next two days filling it in. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it's, uh, everyone's been appreciative, and I think it just adds to the richness of all of the beautiful art that's just everywhere in the city. Um, it's a great place to be. Wonder. Uh, and the guy just, seemed so dedicated, I don't know. How does it make you feel? Happy, it's nice. Everybody, I think, should know that they're loved. I, I took a picture of it and put it on my Snapchat so everybody can see it. <laughs> Did you see the message on the side? I didn't. I saw it from across the mm. street. Drug addiction and human trafficking is something that I don't think we talk about enough um, yeah, and true. that we say happens in other areas, but it's here in Burlington, mm -hmm. so it's important that we talk about it. Yeah, I work, I work at a group home actually, so I know a little bit about um, human trafficking and it's a very serious thing and I have family who have struggled with abuse, um, addiction abuse, and they've gone to rehab and I didn't know that, that, that this was for that and it's just awesome. <laughs> uh, I think it'll definitely get the message out more. Um, I'm a nursing student and in my pediatrics class we definitely learned about two-on-one and just getting out the info and then having th them do what they would like with the info so yeah definitely yeah i am um, back before college i did a lot of work um, with my local rape crisis center and we were always looking to see how we can get people talking about it and you know having this beautiful mural and then just something as simple as writing out two on one and getting people to start the conversation is really important yeah. um, a good way to do that And Amy, was it your idea to put this mural up, and, and it, why? It was my idea. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the origin of it. Um, there's uh, an artist out of Boston, his name is Alex Cook, and he was making these tiny little You Are Loved wooden, like little plaques for Christmas presents. And my niece, who was a friend of Alex, gave me one of those for Christmas. And so I had it set up on my desk and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if we could do something with this for human trafficking victims? Because one of the main things is that I really feel that they don't feel loved. And that's maybe one of the reasons they get into this in the first place. So I contacted Alex and I said, you know, how could we do this on a bigger scale? And he said, I do murals. So I said, fabulous, we should do a mural in Burlington. So I hunted around the city, I took pictures of all different kinds of walls and really settled on this wall. And the owner of the wall, Billy Maurer, was very happy to let us do it here. Step to the owner, the owner. Oh 
Oh, so the owner of the building, I contacted him and he said, sure, do it. So I talked to the, US, the acting U.S. attorney, Jeannie Coles, and I said, here's my idea. And I laid it all out for her and she thought it was a fabulous idea. So um, she agreed that the office would sponsor it. Um, so the U.S. attorney's office has paid for this whole uh, project to be done. And the idea is not only for human trafficking victims, but for the community. Um, you know, to feel this message, you are loved, and hope that it resonates and that people, anybody walking by can feel that, but particularly uh, the victims of human trafficking who I think have not felt that message for a very long time, and we're hoping that it's a step in the right direction to getting them on a different track. That's great, Amy, because it's a hidden problem. Very much of a hidden problem, although um, our caseload is getting bigger and bigger every day. Um, five years ago when Edith, I don't know if you've talked to Edith Klamoski, but okay. So five years ago when Edith Klamoski came to Vermont with Give Way to Freedom, she met with me and she said, you know, I want to work with you and here's what I do. It, we work with human trafficking victims. And I said, but Edith, we don't have human trafficking victims in Vermont. I couldn't have been more wrong. Well, I think part of the problem was we've probably always had human trafficking victims, but we didn't know what to look for. And as we became more and more educated about what to look for, we realized that we, we do have them. And so the U.S. Attorney's Office has been very proactive in um, looking and prosecuting cases that have to that involve uh, victims of human trafficking. And is it directly involved with the opioid crisis? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, probably most, uh, no, I can't say most. A lot of our heroin cases involve human trafficking, mm -hmm. sex and drug trafficking. Mm -hmm. so, um, so what does human trafficking look like in Vermont? OK. Um, I mean, it varies from case to case, but what I generally see is that um, women get addicted to opiates one way or the other. Either they get sucked into what looks like a happy, fun, supportive relationship, and it really turns into a um, relationship where they're being used to move drugs and one of the ways that they get paid is through drugs. So they get addicted to drugs and then to be able to keep up their habit, um, they have to work and part of this work is sex trafficking and it just becomes a vicious cycle. So what I'm seeing are girls who are mainly addicted to heroin, some of them have been addicted to fentanyl, um, who don't have a stable environment, who have medical issues, who have dental issues, who have don't have a good support system, and are uh, who are looking for that, and they find that in this sort of, you know, abusive situation. Mm. It seems like a, a mixture of, of legal and social work. That you it do. is. It is. Yeah. Could you explain a little more about that? That's really difficult because, uh, let me just tell you about this. It's just, so I work for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Obviously, our mission is to have a healthy community, but also to prosecute the people who are selling drugs, who are um, trafficking people. And it's a fine line between providing, you know, the services that these girls need, these women and sometimes men, um, and um, keeping, you know, an eye on what our mission is, which is, you know, to get these people off the streets. So it's kind of a dual purpose. Let's go over to the writing here on the beautiful mural. Sure. And tell us about 211. Okay. So 211 is a statewide program. And um, if you call, if you dial 211, 
you get a um, you get a emergency worker. I guess you would call. I don't know if you call it an emergency worker. Um, a person answers the phone who has uh, knowledge about all the services in Vermont, and they can refer you to the different services that you might need. Okay, that sounds great. And so it's it's a, a supportive service. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, if, you can, if you can think of anything else right now that you'd like to add to this, what about the process of, of putting up the mural? You had a lot of community help, right? We did. We had, um, well, I think I counted 40 people who actually helped paint the mural. Mm -hmm. And then Alex came back um, and, you know, put all the finishing touches on it. And I think it took him, like, it took a total of five days to put it up. But it was wonderful because the best part about putting up this mural was people coming by and saying, like, thank you, or that's awesome, or we love it, or, you know, like we got so much positive feedback. We did, I didn't even expect as much community feedback as we got. It was incredible. Like, Alex said he literally didn't stop smiling the whole time he was working on it because of all the good uh, comments that people were, were saying to him. It was fun. It's wonderful. Um, and if I can ask you one more sure. question, uh, what would you say to anyone out there who does currently need your help? It's a good question. I would say that help is out here. Um, call me at the U.S. Attorney's Office. Call 211. Um, there are a number of agencies that are located in Vermont that are poised to help people with uh, issues surrounding trafficking, and um, we're here to help. There is help. I don't know. What do you want me nice. to say? We are, we are loved. <laughs> and you are loved, yeah, of course. Thank you. I hope that, I really hope that this message resonates for people. I really do. I think it will. I hope so. Thank I know it you. seems like a silly, you know, mural, but it really is like, I really hope it was, it was done with a lot of heartfelt effort and I really hope that people, um, and I think they are responding to that. Yeah.